We're looking at very interesting textures in this basalt, which at one time dammed the Colorado River. The lower part has these vertical columns, we call them columnar joints, and they represent, as the lava cools from a melt to a solid rock, it contracts a little bit, and these columns form perpendicular to the cooling front, which was horizontal here so that the columns are vertical. Above that, the columns are much more complicated, and the uh, we call that the entablature up there, and that cooling is facilitated by ri river water, which river was pouring on top of that lava flow when it was chilling and cooling. The water got down into cracks and helped cool the upper part more, f more quickly than the slow cooling of the lower part. So the lower part's called the colonnade, the upper part's the entablature, and it tells us about the cooling history of this um, silicate melt, this basaltic lava flow that poured down about 80 miles down the Colorado River, frozen place right here, and blocked the Colorado River.